Okay, so this is going to be a very quick and short video and in today's video I will be talking about what you need to know for what you need to know about the CC math exam. That's the topic for this video. What you need to know about the CXC math exam. And so the first thing that you need to know about the CXC CSEC mathematics exam is that it has a heavy paper tool. Everybody who has ever done CSEC math is supposed to know that yes, the paper is heavy, the paper tool is thick. And it's a lot of working out and all of that. So you have to come prepared. Do not walk in the exam and feel like you'll get two sheets of paper. It's a booklet. So that's the first thing you should know about the CC Mathematics exam. It has a heavy paper too. So you have to enter that exam equipped if you want to pass. So the next thing now, the next point is because it's such a heavy paper and with the given time, you have to move fast. You cannot go in the exam and move like a snail on the paper. You're not going to finish if you do that, right? You're not even going to reach halfway if you move like a snail. So it's either you know or you don't know. But the point is that you have to move fast in the exam. Do not go in the exam. If you cannot answer something, move on. Do not spend one hour and 30 minutes on one page alone and the rest of the paper not look on it. If you cannot answer, move on come back move on come back you come back you don't know move on again come back just keep on do that or what you can do is your pencil and mark the one them where you do answer so you don't overlook them when you go through again right so that's the so that's the second one you have to move fast in the CSEC mathematics paper two exam you cannot go in there with no snaily snaily or no turkey movement you have to move fast so the first point the paper two is heavy the second point, you have to move fast in that CSEC mathematics exam. The third thing, the third thing that you should know about the CSEC mathematics exam is that a lot of students don't actually finish the paper, right? So a lot of students actually do not finish the CSEC mathematics um, paper to paper, right? Because most times they leave pages blank. Like when I was doing it, I ended up leaving about a page probably a one page or something like that blank but I left a page blank because I just don't know if to go on this one I, leave, I left it blank and the time was up so yeah but most students don't actually finish that paper to exam the bright sparks them in a math finish it but if you're like the average person you have average math knowledge most students don't usually um finish the CSEC mathematics exam like they don't answer every single question right and me saying this is not saying you're going to the exam and feel like you have to answer every question the questions are there to be answered so that's why you have to move fast you have to move swiftly to ensure that you go through all the questions then if you don't know you move on and come back so you see how everything ties in it's a heavy paper too you have to work fast and you have to work fast in order for you to finish the paper because it's like you can get more marks that way, right? We don't want more marks, so you have to move fast and you have to try your best going to that exam with the intention that you're going to finish that paper, regardless of who would tell you they've never done it or if you hear me say never done it. Don't mind that. Your intention is to finish the paper. My luck is not your luck. Just because I got lucky don't mean y'all get lucky. So go in there with the intention to finish the CSEC math paper too. And in this video, you realize that me I talk a lot about the CSEC math paper too that you should know about the exam because it's really that component that holds majority of the marks. And yes, the paper one is important, but we know that the paper one is multiple choice. You can watch past your videos on YouTube. Um, Kerwin Springer, um, the CSEC mathematics guy. This teacher, I don't remember her name, but yeah, like Kerwin Springer, yeah, writing those names or those things on YouTube and you'll see past papers for paper one from math, CSEC mathematics being worked. And there's a good chance that the questions are going to repeat for the paper one, right? So imagine you can secure um, at least half, no, at least not even just half. Imagine you can secure as much as I can from the paper one for help make up a grade. That's what I'm trying to say. But the point is that 
majority of the marks are in the paper two and it's that same paper two that makes so many students fail so that's why i'm addressing the paper two mostly in this video so bringing back to the first point is that the paper two is heavy the cc math paper two is heavy you have to work fast and the truth is that most students don't finish that paper but i'm not telling you you are going at the exam and decide to see and i got on the paper you are going in the exam with the intention to finish the paper because as i said my luck is not your luck and somebody else's luck is not your luck either so don't go in there and say because you never done it me not go done it either go in there and move fast swiftly don't stay upon one question for one and a half hour and then oh exam done and you don't do not on the paper do not do that right do not do that all right so now in my case now um in my case i actually um did not as i said before i never finish the paper two completely i think i left a page blank in the paper two but yes i did end up getting a grade two in CSET mathematics but yeah as i said my luck is not your luck so you cannot look at somebody and say oh i me never done a paper i still get a two so you know if you done a paper and you still get a two or you get a one or whatever you can't look on it like that my my luck is not your luck so go in that exam with the intention of finishing that CSET math paper two exam and the next thing that you should know about this CSEC mathematics exam is that it is probably one of, if not, so is probably one of the most stressful um, CSEC exams or CSEC exams you ever do if it's not the most stressful. It is one of the most stressful exams you'll ever do in your life. You'll be sweating and you'll get tired and you'll just feel frustrated. Now these things that I'm describing is that if you're an average math student, if you know see your bread sparks and I'm math for a long time, you're not gonna sweat, not not gonna hurt you not at the exam. But the truth is that it's stressful. For the average person with the average brain, average math knowledge, it can be stressful. But if you know that you are bread sparks and you know see so you love numbers, you love math, then you know you can match up that paper easily. But I'm speaking to those of us who are not Right sparks in maths like that. We just try to do a thing. We just try to go through life with the maths, right? We're average math students. Then you have to be prepared to go in an exam and do not panic. Don't panic when you see the paper. Don't panic when you see the paper heavy. Just start work. Just start work and say, I'm going to do as much as I can. Go in there with that mindset. I'm going to do as much as I can. I'm going to answer as much as I can. If I cannot answer, I move on and come back. And no matter what, if I have time, write something with a rubbish. Make up something and write on the paper and I leave it blank. If you don't, if you, if you don't, if you have more time, don't leave it blank. I leave a rubbish. If you look on the question all half an hour straight, which you should not be looking at no question for half an hour straight, make up something. Make up something right on the paper. Make it up. Just don't give the paper blank. Just don't do it. Write up some numbers and something you might. Who knows? You might get a one mark, you know? I got one mark and get your three, you know? So just don't go in there with the mindset say, oh, I'm not going to the paper and the paper too stressful and math hard and I can't do math. Go in there and try a thing. Because I would not consider myself, oh, man, a brilliant math student. It's not try a thing. That's what I did. It is a try a thing. I'm not no top of top bright sparks in math. It's a try a thing. I try to get through life like everybody else. Right? And that brings me to the next point that you need math. Math is a mandatory subject. Math and English, they are mandatory subjects. So it's not like, oh, I'm not going to do maths. No, whether or not you want to go work or you want to go to college or you want nothing, you need maths. So it's like, pick your, there's no, the poise of pick for you already, right? The poise of pick, you have to do the maths. It pick for you already, you have to do the maths. So know that it's a mandatory subject and don't feel like, oh, I'm not going to do no maths because I don't want to do no maths or I can't take maths by my brain. You need maths. You need it. Whether you want to go work or you want to go to college or wherever you want to go, get the maths. Get the maths and English. Get it. It's a mandatory subject. And then the last point that I want to discuss in this video is how um, I got a grade 3 in CSEC math and then I went back and got a grade 2 in CSEC math. Now, was that a wise decision? Was that a wise decision on my part? Honestly, that, I don't know, like, honestly, that was, 
I guess now I can see how it's a wise decision because I'm gonna get a two over the three. But to be honest, when I got that three, I was influenced to go back and get a better grade. And it was stressful because in my head, imagine me sitting that exam again. I'm like, all right. I remember I did CSEC math in grade 10 when I got the three. And imagine me um, in grade 11 now sitting CSEC math again with all of my other sitting CSEC math again with all of my other subject them. So me and some minute even can go on like say, cause imagine me get a grade three in a math and me take up myself, but me do a math again. Like somebody would have said, you're not in your right man. You could never in a your right man. Forget the tree in a mat and boy, yeah, go back, go do mat again. Like, at one point, me and say, you know, so I make a mistake though, like me and say, me go in at this exam, go lose the tree. Me go lose the tree, or me go get back the tree. Like, honestly, that me say to myself, me I lose it, or me I get it back. And me that fret, me that fret even more than the first time I made the exam, because imagine me in a grade 11. Like, me supposed to done up with C sex subject now in a grade 11. And it's like, but I do my maths, right? And honestly, I'm a freak. I'm the one that if I make the right decision, I wonder if I'm stupid, I wonder if something cheap, something right in my brain, because why would I put myself in that situation? You get what I'm saying? And either way, um, luckily, it worked out in my favor and I got that too, but boy, I would recommend nobody for that. I would tell a soul if you go do that, like, it could have got either way. I could have get a three. I could have get a four. I could have fail. And I would recommend it. I would tell nobody if you get a pass in a subject like mathematics, a hard subject like mathematics, and take up themselves so one more it over. I would recommend it. And in one way, if I had known better, I probably would even do it over. But you know, when you have, you have this like, thing, and because like at the time, um, I had a text me the text like yeah, it was COVID so I like, want somebody text um the math teacher and she said, but it depends on what you want to do and depends on the school where you plan to go because some schools don't want a three, and you know what, that was what really influenced me because and I said me not over no math, but it's like when she says some schools don't want it means I mean if you be more competitive and have the better grades and all these things right, and so um. Yes, yes, that was me. Get the three, boom, I do it over and get a two. But honestly, I would tell nobody if you go put themselves in that situation because it's stressful. And imagine not just for me, but me, I think about how oh, the hell me if you get mats and then me go go to my mother and say, Oh, me lose the mats, me have no mats again. Like it'd be stupid and would I probably get a box down because that don't make no sense. Right, but at the time, you know, me and the government are pay for it. Me and the government are pay for it. So, make the government pay for it. Like, yeah, more and spend the government money. So, that's why I took advantage of that, right? But regardless, that's my math story. That's my CSET math story. Um, yeah, that's that. But basically, these are what you need to know about the CSET math exam. And I want to say good luck to everybody on them exams this year. Do not underestimate math. No matter how good you be at math, do not underestimate it. Do your past papers and ensure that you cover the topics and ensure that you prepare. If you don't know what topics I'm talking about, check your syllabus. You will be tested on what's in your C6 syllabus. And you can go on the CXC.org website and get it. You can go on it and get the syllabus. In, like, literally go through the syllabus, make sure you start, cover all the content. Um, me know me do, right? Yes, so that's the end of today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, comment them down below. That's the end of today's video.